welcome back to Vicarage Farm and <clears throat> bit of a, a drich day as we say in Scotland. A bit overcast but the sun's trying to come through and there's a bit of blue sky up there so hopefully the afternoon hunt that we're going to have, about five hours, uh, well, the sun will shine on us now. Last time we come here we were over in the field over in the, in the distance here on the left hand side back of the farmhouse and we've tried a few times in there now. I've had a couple of nice finds, well three nice finds actually, and I think they've mainly casual losses over there. That was the sort of conclusion I'm coming to. It's sort of, I've done a 10 hour hunt, I know it's a, a huge great field, but I'll come to try the other half of it really. Um, come on this side, I say you've got the manor house down there in the woods there, you've got this big bump in front of me, there's a footpath runs right through this hollow and goes down to the the other trackway over the far side there, another green road. So let's uh, give this a go. Again, yeah, we've got the, the days helping me out today with a little scouting hunt, get around the fields quickly. Uh, not found any hot spots yet in the times I've been here, so third trip out. Let's hopefully we can get, learn a bit more about this farm and a few more of the fields. Um, the f next field in the distance there, uh, just beyond the sweet corn, uh, which, or the maize really, for the put down for the pheasants as a cover. Uh, the field over there has just been ploughed, uh, first time in a long time. So I think that'll be a, a future hunt once it's all settled down. So let's get the days fired up and give this field a try. Well guys, this is one of the reasons why we have so many shotgun cartridges on this, this farm. Not only is it the, uh, the pheasant shoots that they have throughout the winter, but you can see here all the dead clays. I've just been walking up here for the last 50 yards, it just littered. Uh, with clay pigeons basically, I think that's what they call them but they're everywhere and amongst all these is all the shotty cartridges as well so we're going to be kept busy digging today that's for sure Hi guys, I thought just to show you the hollow way uh, it was a Saxon road which the other permission I've got called Holloway Farm was named after and you can see the, the high bank on this side and the bank on this side, because of the ploughing and things, has been worn away. But basically what happens is over the years, trucks and people just walking up and down this for hundreds of, hundreds of years have just worn it away and made it into what is affectionately known as a hollow way. Uh, it's definitely a Saxon road because it's mentioned in a lot of the old books. It's uh, mentioned in the Doomsday Book. Let's like say it goes all the way up to Worcester, this road. Uh, it just crashes its way right across the countryside. I just uh, thought I'd let you guys into a bit of the history of the area there. Well guys, it's been going three quarters of an hour and <laughs> that's the first find. Absolutely strange, I've had a lot of bits of aluminium and shotty caps and things but that's the first find of any age, it's a old pistol ball. Obviously hit something. Just there, just as I say in Scotland, skated off. That's a very quiet field though. Just doing that along the very top of the hill at the moment of the field and I'll drop down into the valley later on in the afternoon. But yeah, at least the sun's coming out now. Well guys, it's been going just over an hour now and not had one coin, but this little religious medallion's just popped up. I don't think it's that old. It's a white metal and it's quite light. You can just see the detail on there, there's lots of lettering on it, so that's probably Victorian. Was, uh, Got some other bits and pieces on the back there. It's an interesting find. It's uh, very, very quiet though, this field. I said we've just gone past the hour here and we've had a, the button, the 2 2 cartridge, and a few little bits of lead, and that's been about it. Oh, I the, the little pistol ball. So we'll uh, carry on down this line. Hopefully, we'll find a few more interesting bits and pieces. Well, guys, you don't often see that on the 30th of October. A common butterfly. Looks like it's just hatched and it's up on the the leaves so you can hardly see it. It's a lovely thing to see this time of year. Oh guys, nice banging signal. I just flipped the top couple of inches of soil off and you can just see the looks like a penny just sat in there. Yep, yeah, it's an old penny. 1913, so it's probably George V, which it is. You see old Georgie there. The date, first coin, hour and a half into the hunt. Not a very good start today. Hello? 
Okay, it's another good positive signal. I've got my first buckle off the farm. Looks like a just a modern one. Old belt buckle or harness buckle or whatever. That's the uh, very first one we've had though. And third trip out. Well guys got an interesting little find, got the top of a, a snuff box. You can just see the they're saying UFF there. That's gone going back to sort of like George the third time. I'm actually near the gamekeeper's cottages at the moment and this is where I'm getting most of the signal. I've had nothing for all the way around two sides of the, the field. This is a one little button and two two cartridge and then this has just popped out as well. Might even get some more detail off that. It looks quite uh, well stamped. Oh, well I'll carry on down this line. I'm just going to head back towards the old manor house now uh, and the line of the old footpath just to see what I can find. Well, I've had nothing but shotgun cartridge cases the last three quarters of an hour and just a little button but looks like this is a an earring of some sort. You can see all the dots all the way along it. Difficult to, to date it but it's definitely bronze. So, we'll see if we can find anything similar on Tintinet. It's uh, very very sparse this side of the farm, that's for sure. See how the back of it there is plain but the front got a pattern on it. Well let's get on to the next one then. Well guys two hours in on the hunt and it's really hard work today again. Um, shotty 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 that's all we seem to be getting at the moment. Uh, the one George Penny, a couple of buttons, top of that stuff box and that religious medallion. Other than that not a lot really but look at the view. Absolutely stunning this view from up here. So we're on the highest part of the farm at the moment. I've been doing the other big mound that's in the next field and you can see it. You know, we're a good 200 feet above the rest of the landscape around here. So there's all the autumn colours now all starting to change over. And you can see a lot of the, the farm from up here. Let's say we've got most of the fields that you can see into the distance right out to those trees and that pasture field over the far side. Another thing I've been seeing a lot of today is uh, loads of hares on this farm. I reckon there's at least 20 or 30 pairs on here um, at any one time. So, nice to watch them and just hopefully we can get a few more finds in the last part of the afternoon. Well guys, that's a nice little find. First for me, it's a, an old whistle. I'll just see the little mouthpiece there, and put your lips onto that part. I don't know what sort of whistle it was, but it's, it's quite heavy. Well, be interesting to see if we can get that identified, how old that actually is. If I had, a, had to guess, I would say Victorian. Looking at it, but it's a nice little find. So right on top of the mound, like I did the, the other mound on the last hunt, and we had a few bits and pieces off the top, and hopefully we'll uh, get a few more off of here. As usual, first rule of detecting from Mal. <laughs> you always start finding when the sun's going down. Look at that, an old florin. They've had a 1p and a florin out of here so far. It's right in front of the old manor house. There's uh, nothing much else. No old stuff coming out today. Well, we'll just flick this one out. And I do believe... Hey, we've found a bound! <laughs> I didn't expect to get that here. So I just got that floor in there about two foot away from it. You just see the, the two holes there. The Funda Bund. Well, we've got another signal. Nice strong signal that. Just a couple of feet away from where we got the pound. We got to go with it. A bull tab. 20p, get in. I've got a sneaky suspicion this is where all the shoots meet up. That's why I'm starting to find these coins. It's right in front of the, uh, the manor house. Seems a logical place for them to stand because all the ring pulls we've been getting as well. I oh, will just carry on here. Well, guys, looks like we've got another coin. 
Looks like another florin as well. Yeah, another Lizzie 2 florin. I'm going to concentrate on this area when I come back next time, I think. You never know, something might drop a bit of bling bling as well. An interesting little badge there. The British Society Riding and Road Safety Test. Oh, never seen one of those before. Uh, it definitely shows there's been some modern activity around this area with the coins and ring pulls and now the, the badge coming out. Hi guys, welcome to the review and another hard day's hunt uh, down at Vicarage Farm there and we tried the other side of the big field uh, we've been in a couple of times before so we went over to the, the other side of the manor house just to see what we could find in there and as usual lots and lots of junk lots of shotties bits of foil bits and pieces but one thing was very strange over there very little pottery uh, I we're there for six hours and we just got one piece of Roman greyware it's a big chunky pot um, but other than that junk wise what to be expected? Ring pools as well. Uh, we did find one area which is littered with ring pools, but I'll come on to that with the finds. Uh, so putting that aside, now we've got our overall finds. And I said, first part of the hunt was very, very sparse. Uh, even for shotgun cartridge cases, once I got past where, where all the uh, clay pigeons had been blasted out the air. I uh, got past all the shotties in there, I got very, nothing in there, just massive, massive signals to shotties, so I'll have to have a think about that area if I want to go back to because it's right next to the farm. We did go around the other side and we didn't get, actually get any finds until we got round to the gamekeeper's cottages, which was right on the other side of the field. And then we picked up a toy car, uh, religious religious medallion, so the snuff holder, got that one penny, and then generally just scouting around uh, trying to find some hot spots we went on top of the the big mound and found a whistle i uh, did find my first buckle on the farm so like i said it's four was it third or fourth hunt <laughs> i'm losing track already uh, that's the very first buckle i've found now to me that shows it's not been well occupied those areas so somewhere on that farm there will be an occupied area and we will find it you can assure you that so we got back round to the the farmhouse again and we started to find lots and lots of ring pools when you get lots of ring pools you get lots of modern activity and that was shown we started pulling out in the last half hour so we've got the florins 20 peas funda pund <laughs> uh, other bits and pieces and the uh, horse riding badge so again we're still learning about vicarage farm uh, it's going to take a long time i think to find out you know what is there and where, where the best places to go so what we're going to do is we're going to move on to another field uh, which is halfway down the farm we've been doing a bit more research on it and there's been a few uh, archaeological watching digs down there so i've seen the records and, and i know what to expect so hopefully when we get down there it's a, another huge field it's bigger than the one we've just been searching uh maybe find some different bits and pieces so it's your pal mal signing off now happy hunting catch up with you guys on the next one cheers then